If you attack this giant troll with the bronze mace, you are going to get your rock. But if you attack with the bronze act gear, it's going to be a whole different story. The reason? Creatures in Valheim each have their own sets of strengths and weaknesses to different types of damage and a tenacity tier that measures the magnitude of those strengths and weaknesses. If you're interested in mastering combat over every creature in Valheim, understanding a creature's tenacity and the different damage types are the first two steps. In Valheim, there are three types of damage. First, physical in the forms of pierce, blunt, and slash. Second, elemental in the forms of fire, frost, poison, spirit, and lightning. And thirdly, terrain with chop and mining damage. To illustrate these two concepts together, let's look at our troll example. They are weak to pierce damage with a tenacity level of 1 and therefore receive 1.5 times increased damage from the pierce damage dealing at gear, which is reflected with a yellow damage number. Alternatively, the troll has resistance to blunt damage with tenacity of 3, therefore receiving half damage from the blunt damage dealing mace reflected with a gray damage number. Finally, the troll is neutral to slash damage with a tenacity of 2, therefore receiving flat 1 times damage from the slash dealing sword and is reflected with a white damage number. The troll also has a secret weakness I will reveal later as our journey takes us into the Black Forest. With tenacity and damage understood, it is time for you to master combat in Valheim as I share with you the strengths and weaknesses of every creature, including bosses, and pay attention to the top right corner of the screen for my personal weapon recommendations as we cover each creature. Let's kick things off with Valheim's first biome, the Meadows. The Meadows contains four creatures. For starters, the passive deer, which is neutral to all forms of damage but immune to spirit. Next are the aggressive creatures starting with the boar. They are neutral to all forms of damage but immune to spirit. Second are the neck which are resistant to poison damage and immune to spirit. Thirdly the graylings which are very weak to fire but resistant to poison and like the boar and neck immune to spirit. Finally the meadows boss Ikthir is neutral to all types of damage and immune to none. At the end of every biome section I will leave a summary table like this on screen so feel free to pause here. The black forests gray dwarf, fruit, and shaman all share the same set of resistances, being very weak to fire, resistant to poison, and immune to spirit. The troll, on the contrary, as we already know, is weak to pierce and resistant to blunt, but is also immune to spirit. Plus, as alluded to previously, the troll is one of only three creatures in the game with a weak spot. The troll is more susceptible to damage to its head with a whole new set of strengths and weaknesses. Their heads have a tenacity of zero, making them very weak to pierce and flat neutral to blunt compared to resistant in their bodies. Stay tuned for my reveal of the other two creatures who have weak points. Skeletons are weak to blunt and fire, but are resistant to pierce and immune to poison. Next, exclusive to the burial chambers, the rancid remains match the skeleton in weakness to blunt and fire, plus resistance to pierce and immunity to poison. Alternatively, ghosts are weak to spirit, resistant to all physical damage, and immune to poison. Concluding the Black Forest, the Black Forest's boss, the Elder, is very weak to fire, but immune to poison and spirit. Similarly, the roots he spawns share his resistances, but less extreme, by only being weak to fire, resistant to frost, and like the Elder, immune to poison. The ocean contains only one creature in the serpent. Serpents are weak to frost, resistant to poison, and immune to fire and spirit. The fourth biome is the swamp containing nine creatures including the boss. First in the swamp are the blobs and oozers that are both weak to blunt, frost, and lightning but are resistant to fire, pierce, and slash, and immune to poison. Second, the jogger and jogger elite are resistant to fire and immune to poison and spirit. Third, the slippery leeches resist poison and are immune to fire. Fourth, the flaming certlings come weak to frost but immune to fire, poison, and spirit. And fifth, the airborne wraiths are weak to spirit and fire but resistant to all forms of physical damage and immune to frost and poison. And last before bone mass are the massive abominations, bringing weakness to fire, resistance to blunt, and are very resistant to pierce and immune to frost, poison, and spirit. Finally, bone mass. Bone mass is weak to both blunt and frost, resistant to slash, and very resistant to fire, pierce, and lastly, is immune to poison. The mountains contains creatures in its overworld and an alternative unique set in its frost caves. In the overworld, the wolves have no weaknesses or resistances but are immune to spirit. Their airborne counterparts in the drakes are weak to fire but also immune to spirit and frost. The stone golem, on the other hand, is the only creature in the game with a weakness to pickaxe damage, being very weak to it while being resistant to pierce, slash, and immune to fire, frost, poison, and spirit. At night, the fendering will spawn with weakness to fire and resistance to poison. Inside the frost caves, you will cross three creatures with the first being the bat. Bats are weak to fire and spirit, 
resistant to all physical damage and immune to frost and poison. Second and third are the Ulves and Cultists coming with poison resistance with the Ulv being very resistant to fire and the Cultists immune to fire altogether. The Mountain's boss, Motor, is weak to fire but immune to both frost and spirit. The Plains creatures provide few weaknesses and resistances with the Fueling, Berserker, Shaman, and Deathskeeto all having no strength or weaknesses aside from the four being immune to spirit. The Roaming Locks, rather, are weak to fire, resistant to blunt, frost, and slash, and also immune to spirit. And last before Yagluth, the growths resemble their swamp counterparts and are weak to blunt, fire, spirit, and resistant to frost, pierce, slash, and immune to poison. Yagluth has no weaknesses and is resistant to fire, very resistant to pierce, and also immune to poison. The final biome contains a diverse variety of creatures and the other two with weak points like the troll. The Seeker and its brood share resistances with both being resistant to all physical damage and immune to spirit. The Seeker Soldier, however, is the second creature in the game to have a weak point. Apart from its rear, the Soldier is resistant to all physical damage and immune to spirit. Its butt, on the other hand, is weak to all physical damage in addition to fire, frost, and lightning. The Fearsome Yall are the third and final creature in Valheim with a weak point as most of their bodies are resistant to fire and immune to spirit. But if shooting their egg-covered underbellies, they become very weak to pierce and neutral to fire damage. The ticks in which y'all spawn have a weakness to pierce and are immune to spirit. And lastly, before the queen, the Dvergers come in various forms in the rogue and fire, frost, and support mages. The rogue has no resistances but is immune to spirit, while the mages are resistant to fire and frost while also immune to spirit. The last boss in Valheim, the queen, brings resistance to pierce and immunity to spirit. And with all of Valheim creatures resistances understood take my weapon recommendations and learn how to best use them in my full weapons overview on screen now and if you have liked the summaries shown on screen check out our community discord for a link to our valheim wiki link in the description